speaking with me today about that process and about the first week of Mr. Kiley goes to Washington is the sitting congressman. Mr. Kiley, welcome back to KUSI. Uh, thanks very much, Paul. Great to be with you, as always. Uh, so how, how is it a somber thing? Is it, a, is it a, I mean, you look in the mirror and say, oh, boy, I can't believe where, where life is taking me now, or is it exciting? Uh, well, things are exciting because we have a chance to really, uh, you know, have an impact and to change things. And uh, I think that what you see now is our conference uh, is united uh, in the goal of uh, reining in uh, the Biden administration, bringing back some accountability uh, and getting the country moving in a new direction, which is desperately needed after the train wreck over the last two years. We had Tom Del Beccaro on yesterday, and he, you know, the, I'm sure you watch the uh, cable outlets and all the mainstream media saying, oh, what a disaster it was to take 15 tries at getting Mr. McCarthy with gavel in hand. He said, uh, don't get lost in the theater. It's no big deal. Now, he, he's optimistic that you're in a position to do what the previous Congress was unable to do, to be effective and effective in creating change. Can you speak to that? Uh, well, I agree. I mean, yes, last week, uh, you know, uh, was uh, was certainly an interesting week. And when you're in the middle of it, it seems like it's dragging on uh, forever. But at the end of the day, it took us a few days. Uh, we have a speaker and we have a unified conference with a set of rules for how the House operates uh, that is really uh, transformational. I mean, there are reforms uh, that move us much more in the direction of a real uh, deliberative body, a representative government uh, where folks have a chance uh, to truly represent their constituents. And I think that's a really good thing. It's a really healthy thing. And we're as a uh, better position than I think we've been in a long time uh, to bring real changes that the country needs. And so uh, I think that you uh, are seeing right now a unified conference uh, that is really ready to, to work, get to work for the American people. Just on a personal note, I mean, is it like the first day at college where you're trying to figure out where all your classes are and where you're going to live? And I mean, it's got to be a pretty intimidating experience. Or are you such an old hand at all this that it's no big deal? Well, sure, there's a lot to learn about, uh, you know, how to best uh, navigate uh, the uh, the capital here and how to be most effective on behalf of my constituents and for uh, for Californians. Uh, but, you know, uh, there isn't a lot of time to waste. I mean, we have uh, truly urgent uh, challenges facing uh, our country. And so, uh, you know, this isn't the sort of thing uh, where uh, you can really be, uh, you know, spending weeks or months just getting yourself uh, acclimated. Uh, what's uh, you know the what I was elected to do was to get to work immediately, uh, and so that's uh, that's what we're doing right now. We've already passed uh, major legislation. Uh, we voted last night to repeal the 87,000 new IRS agents uh, that Joe Biden is trying to set loose uh, on uh, middle class uh, Americans and small business owners. Uh, we're voting uh, today on legislation uh, to uh, tackle the threats uh, being brought to us by the Chinese Communist Party uh, to stop uh, Joe Biden uh, from selling uh, oil to China from our strategic reserves. Uh, we've got legislation coming up later this week uh, to assure that prosecutors actually uh, go ahead and prosecute uh, crimes, which many are not doing these days. Uh, so we're hitting the ground running. Uh, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited about what we have an opportunity to do, but also mindful uh, of how important the work that we're doing is. Oh, your constituents want to uh, investigate the Justice Department and FBI for what they call being a weaponized tool of one side of the political argument. Can that be done? Uh, some, or, can they be reined in? Yes, in fact, that is uh, being voted on today as well. Uh, there's going to be a committee on the weaponization of the federal government uh, against Americans uh, to look at what exactly has been going on, to look at the violations uh, of civil liberties uh, under the Biden administration. And uh, I think that's incredibly important, particularly uh, what we've been seeing uh, when it comes to uh, social media and the way that the federal government was effectively uh, colluded uh, with major tech companies uh, in order to censor, to silence, to cancel uh, Americans, to violate their free speech rights. So uh, that's an incredibly important part uh, of our work here as well. And you're going to be seeing major developments on that soon. Uh, just a couple more quick questions, uh, Mr. Kiley. Uh, the, the, the January 6th investigations and uh, what was a nonstop parade on TV for, for what, two years? Is all that over now? 
Uh, yes, I believe they put out their uh, their final report uh, at the end of the last Congress. And so, uh, you know, I think that there are uh, perhaps uh, going to be some efforts to see exactly uh, whether that was truly a comprehensive uh, look at what happened. Uh, so you'll continue to see, uh, you know, uh, pe folks uh, asking for and working towards a greater measure of transparency on that front as well. And uh, just on a personal note, what as a first year, what do you hope to achieve individually? Or, I mean, you're a spoke in the wheel and you have to work with as a team, but do you have any individual goals? Well, my individual goals are uh, to best uh, deliver results uh, for my constituents. Uh, and so to the extent that I can use uh, my position here, my platform, uh, to move us more quickly and more uh, meaningfully uh, in the direction of major change when it comes to getting our economy back on track, when it comes to reducing debt, uh, when it comes to securing the border and uh, dealing with crime, uh, that'll be the greatest measure uh, of success for me. I think we're off to a really good start. Uh, we'll be getting committee assignments soon. Uh, and, uh, you know, I also, of course, want to uh, assure that, uh, you know, this whole idea that Gavin Newsom is now trying to put out that somehow California is a model for the nation. Uh, I want to make sure that folks across the country know the truth about what has really happened in California under his watch, where we're now become the most popular state uh, in the country to leave, uh, because we definitely do not want uh, to continue uh, down that failed path as a country. You know, you bring up Gavin Newsom. I just got in the mail uh, a little de debit card from him. Uh, I mean, they're finally uh, hitting the mailboxes. What is that? How much is that card worth? I, I don't even, I, well, I wasn't expecting it. I certainly didn't apply for it, and it just showed up. Right. I think it varies to some extent, depending upon uh, who you are, uh, what in the bracket you fall into, whether you're married uh, and so forth. Uh, but, you know, this was their whole uh, scheme. They wanted to say, well, we're not going to cut the gas tax. Uh, we're not going to suspend the gas tax. We're just going to mail these uh, cards out to people. So it'll seem like some sort of gift uh, coming from Gavin Newsom uh, and the supermajority. Uh, not necessarily the right uh, prescription uh, for dealing with inflation. Uh, for dealing with rising gas prices uh, and uh, and everything else uh, that Californians are dealing with, just another example of uh, you know the supermajority and our uh, governor uh, coming up exactly the wrong solution for the problems that they have themselves created. Mr. Kelly, I have a sneaking suspicion the card is not going to cover the hit that I've taken over the last two years. I, I just have a feeling. Uh, uh, lastly, the knock against Republicans is that you guys can't keep it together. You you know your opponents on or your your brethren on the left side of the aisle, they vote as a monolith. They, they never f fracture and fray. Republicans always do. Can you speak to that a little bit? Well, we believe in debate. We believe that, uh, you know, uh, representative government is supposed to uh, involve, uh, you know, uh, differences of opinion uh, being discussed uh, and, and resolved uh, in public view. And so uh, the fact that we had some conflict last week uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and at the end of the day, by the way, we were unified. Uh, at the end of the day, our caucus was unified uh, after having, you know, uh, reached uh, uh, several compromises uh, that incorporated uh, the diversity of viewpoints that exist uh, within our conference. And so I think that, you know, that is uh, an asset. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, if you look at the way things were done under Nancy Pelosi's Congress, you're right. It was much more of a command and control system. In fact, folks didn't even show up to vote. They had proxy voting. So people would be voting from the beach, voting from the golf course, voting from the campaign trail. There's literally no debate going on at all. We just voted to, last night to end proxy voting. We said, if you want to be a member of Congress, you should show up and do the job and we'll make ourselves into a more deliberative body. So I do think that is a difference in the way that we're going to run the House. We're not afraid of debate. Uh, we're not afraid to have uh, sharp differences uh, from time to time. But at the end of the day, I trust that all of us, at least within our conference, are working towards the same goal, which is to get our country back on track uh, and to serve uh, our constituents and the American people. Well, I think the stakes are high, sir, and uh, I wish you success. And I look forward to these conversations. I hope you can make time for KUSI just like you did when you were working here in the state of California because uh, it's fascinating. And it's great to have a friendly voice in, in such a lofty position. Um, congratulations, sir. Uh, you bet. Thanks for having me. Thanks for all that you guys do. Kevin Kiley, everybody.